which implant is right for me, the anatomical or the round, is really a discussion that we need to make on an individual basis. But there are kind of certain principles involved, and these are generally the principles. Number one depends on the desired look. Are you looking for more of a rounded breast, or are you looking for more of a natural shape to the breast? The second one really does depend on how much pre-existing breast tissue you have. Do you have enough tissue to cover certain styles of implants? And the third one depends on the position of the nipple. Say after breastfeeding, if your nipple's down a little bit or whether it's elevated. For example, a woman comes in for breast augmentation. She has no sort of natural ptosis or droopiness to the breast, and she's just looking to increase the volume. This is where a round implant works excellent. If I take a round implant, I turn it on its side, the maximum point of projection of that implant is the center of the implant. So if the nipple is in the center of the breast, when I put this implant in, it will expand out that volume to the desired look. Alternatively, if a woman comes in that say has had a little bit of ptosis to the breast after breastfeeding, this is where an anatomical implant works excellent. If I take this anatomical implant and I turn it on its side, the maximum point of projection of the implant is now the bottom of the implant. By inserting this into the breast, it will help to lift up the nipple areola and give you a much more desirable look. Choosing which implant is right for you can be a difficult decision and really should be one that's made in a consultation between you and I. And we can figure out which one is best for you on an individual basis. 